Hey, this is Michael from Studio One Expert. In this video, I'll show you how to control specific frequency ranges of instruments so they sit better within the mix. One of my go-to plugins for this is the AE400 Active EQ from McDSP. McDSP makes a wide range of great plugins. I suggest you head over to McDSP's site if you haven't already and see what they have to offer. It's made up of four bands of fixed and active equalization. Each band is completely overlapping with all other bands and has its own Q, fixed gain, and active gain controls. This plugin is useful in many ways. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly control specific frequencies of a few instrument tracks. You could always use a traditional EQ for this, but if the frequency only occasionally peaks or rhythmically peaks and you want to reduce those peaks in a transparent way, the AE400 Active EQ is perfect for this. I've heard the way this plugin works described as someone quickly turning the knob on an EQ whenever you want that frequency either attenuated or boosted. The four frequencies fully overlap. You can even use the AE400 in parallel and not have any phase issues. Again, this is a very powerful plugin with more independent per band features and controls than we're going to go over in this video. I just wanted to share how quickly and transparently you can get spiky sections under control so things sit better and also so they will better handle any further processing after the AU400. First, I'm going to play you the example track. I'm going to turn the AE400s on and off on the tracks we're using it on and see how it affects the mix. Okay, so the first track has a really fizzy top end around 9.7K. I wanted to cut this range when the synth is playing, but between the notes, I don't want to cut. With a traditional EQ, if I did a big cut, it would cut everything in that range all the time. I just want to cut that frequency range whenever it's peaking and to retain that frequency when it's not. You can see on the AE400 and hear how this works when I play the track soloed. You will see and hear during the rest between the notes, the EQ quickly returns to zero. The track is still fizzy, but we've cut some of the fizz out, making it less harsh, and the cuts reduce between the notes, making it a very transparent cut. I set the Q around 2, so it's attenuating a pretty wide range at that frequency. I set the threshold and gain to the amount I wanted it to attenuate. The next track had a little more information peaking pretty wide around 1K than I thought it needed, so I used a wide Q setting of 1, and set the threshold and gain to what I thought the track needed to sit a little better in the mix. Let's A-B this and check out what's happening. The last track had a couple of areas I thought could benefit from some AE400 cleanup. The first part needed a little cut around 490 Hz, so I set the Q around 1.25 and adjusted the threshold and gain for a cut at that frequency. And the phrase ends with a note that hits around 200 Hz, so at 200 Hz I did a cut with a Q setting of around 3. Let's A-B this.
The AE400 Active EQ is a fantastic plugin. It's packed with many features we did not cover in this video. You have independent ratio, attack, and release for each band. You can sidechain. It's a very powerful tool. I wanted to show in this video how easy it is to quickly and transparently get tracks working in a mix. The AE400 is great for vocals, bass, guitars, horns, any tracks that have moments or sections that contain large peaks that need to sit better with the rest of the performance. I plan to cover more uses of the AE400 in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Now go make some great music.